When we look at sort of this ruling here, I, I want to focus in on this idea that the Supreme Court specifically sort of, I guess, attacked this idea that you can restrict a person's ability to carry a gun in one particular jurisdiction, but then in another jurisdiction, say a Virginia or somewhere else, they wouldn't have those restrictions. And the Supreme Court seems to be making an argument that the Second Amendment sort of provides some sort of federal umbrella that the cities cannot sort of wiggle out from under. Do you buy into that? No, I don't, Romaine. This decision has made America less safe. I mean, this is the bottom line. We really need to understand, you know, our NYPD leadership uh, desperately hoped that the Supreme Court would leave our current laws in place because they save lives of our residents and our officers. The, the minute you start getting more and more guns in more and more people's hands and displayed publicly, you can absolutely guarantee more violence will follow. So the United States Supreme Court has actually made this country more dangerous. Well, but, 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 but in the context of legal gun ownership, we know there's a huge problem with illegal guns and the people who have those guns are usually the people doing a lot of the violence, whether it's against the public or against the police officers. Why does legal gun ownership that goes through a process, why does that make the city more dangerous? The minute there are, it's easier to get a gun. Uh, first of all, we know that, unfortunately, legal guns have been used in horrendous crimes. Uh, we know when guns are displayed publicly, uh, it can lead to conflicts. We know that legal guns are stolen and used illegally. There's so many reasons why our law enforcement leaders uh, wanted to see the New York City law stay the way it was. Uh, so the bottom line here is, you know, there's a lot of people in this country increasingly saying this Supreme Court, which is more and more extremist, more and more out of step with American opinion and the needs of people in this country, this is really almost an advertisement for why we have to expand the court uh, and bring it back to the American mainstream. And this is before we even see the impending uh, decision on Roe. Yeah, the I'm bottom line is this city, this city isn't like every place else. And each mm. city, each state is different. We are the, you know, one of the most densely populated places in the country. We need laws that protect our people. And this is a step in the wrong direction. So I want to go back to your history in City Hall. What can a city like New York, a state, eventually do to create laws that reflect what you're referring to? Look, I, I think it's important under our constitutional system uh, to recognize that each place is different. And when you're talking about a place like this, where what has worked for us is strong gun safety laws, and our law enforcement leaders uh, for generations have said that, they want strong gun safety laws in New York City. So in fact, uh, pre-pandemic, we were the safest big city in America, and we had driven down crime steadily over many years, including the first six years I was mayor. Uh, so we know what works. Outside of a global pandemic, we, we knew what worked and it'll work again. But so, you start to undermine those laws and everybody gets less safe. Well, let's talk about some of the specifics here. Mayor Adams has said that he's considering ways to restrict open carry in sensitive places. What can we see in terms of restricting ownership in the subway, for example, or raising uh, the permit requirements here to, to make it harder to carry a gun in New York? I agree with Mayor Adams, and this is exactly the kind of thing we have to do in response to this decision, find every conceivable path to keep some uh, real safeguards in place. Think about New York City subway. You know, you could have uh, hundreds of people crammed in together. It's not unusual. Sometimes there's a conflict, but having a gun out in the open is like it's incendiary. It will only add to fear. It will only add to conflict and the potential for violence. It doesn't fit with this city. It doesn't fit with many places in this country. We only have about so this Supreme Court is now acting on a radical agenda, but it's literally making people less safe. We only have about a minute uh, left, Bill. I am curious. You are actually running for a, a congressional seat here in New York City. I'm curious if you think there is a congressional remedy, a congressional response to this that could actually work. I think it's very promising that we're seeing the beginning of a consensus on gun safety legislation. The vast majority of Americans want a host of different measures, background checks, assault weapons ban, and I'm certain uh, that people all over this country want some common sense rules about when you can have a gun out in the open. So I believe over time we can actually get to that American consensus, but the court is out of touch with the American mainstream here.